Michael Hellickson with Club Wealth. I'm super excited guys are on the call with us today. Very, very excited to have Mr. Mike Cuevas, the real estate marketing dude, back with us once again. Love having Mike on our webinars. It's always a pleasure to have him. And as you guys can hear, Mike's got a little, uh, he's got a little family going on in the background there. So uh, we're just glad. Did you hear that? We got, <laughs> yeah. I got the whole family sick. Whole I'm just family glad sick that somebody acquiesced finally and agreed to marry you, man. I'm just, I, I just think that's awesome that uh, Allie took you on and uh, and was willing to uh, to, to populate. Take, take the a number, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you did. All right, so here we go. So guys, here's what we're gonna be talking about today. We're talking about advanced real estate video strategy uh, or video marketing strategy. And uh, let me tell you something, Mike is really, really good at this. And so I'm really excited to have him here teaching us this. And uh, so Mike, I don't want to uh, do any more talking here. I want you to take it away and start teaching us about uh, marketing on video. Oh, and, and let me just mention one more thing. Uh, for those of you that uh, are able, go ahead and type into your screen. There's a questions box, not the chat box, but the questions box on your screen Type in your questions there, and we're going to do everything we can throughout the webinar to try and get those answered for you. Uh, and remember that this is the fifth and final video webinar video. You know that we're going to be recording right now. We're live, but this is the fifth and final webinar in the Business Strategy Mastermind Conference series that we've been doing. And uh, as you many of you know, we have on November 9th, 10th, and 11th, we've got our Business Strategy Mastermind Conference in Anaheim, California. If you want to check that out, go to www.clubwealth.com forward slash B as in boy, S as in Sam, M as in Mary. That's BSM. And uh, I got to tell you, literally as of about five minutes ago, we had 11 seats left. So that thing is going to sell out. It'll probably be sold out by tomorrow, maybe Monday at the latest. Uh, but uh, if you're going to get registered for it, you better get registered fast. It's going to be an awesome conference. Mike Cuevas, that being said, back to you, brother. Take it over. What's up, Michael Hellickson? Um, <laughs> <laughs> good to be on again. And uh, we're going to cover some deep stuff right now. And this is uh, hopefully we're going to talk a lot more about this at the Mastermind. Um, but let's get started because we have quite a bit to cover. And uh, honestly, we're, I'm just going to let them all have it. All right. So. Let's Good. start at the very basics here and go over what we're going to cover because all of this stuff is going to play um, play out as I go through the rest of this presentation. So what we're going to cover is the advertising versus marketing in terms of video. It's extremely important to set up your strategy. Um, we're going to cover a different strategy for cold lead generation than video for your database or warm lead generation as I like to call it. Um, I'm going to show you how to use YouTube as a traffic generator. And then we're going to use how to use video to market your database and then ultimately how do you distribute your videos because if you don't um, have anyone watching them, there's really no point there, is there, Mr. Hellickson? That's right. Um, you got to have the audience. So let's start off with just the basic advertising and we're going to start out with the video 101. So when I say advertising versus marketing, advertising is when you take a specific action to generate a specific action. So um, a lot of times realtors and, and confuse the difference between the two, between advertising and marketing, because advertising essentially is cold prospecting. All right. So that's, I'm doing some bit of marketing and I'm expecting a direct response and it's a straight up ad. So it could be like a, a CMA lead or, Hey, get me this report in exchange for this free report. I'm going to give you, um, give me your email address, something like that. Marketing is totally different. All right. And marketing is your story and how you relate to others. All right. It's your ongoing marketing efforts to stay in front of people, create content and engage. And video is really a tool, in my opinion, more so for marketing than so for advertising. Um, because what it does, and the reason why it's so powerful, is it allows you to connect with people so that they can decide whether or not that they like you. I mean, video is, that's the whole purpose of videos because it's so um, humanized, I guess I would say. Does that make sense so far, Michael? You know, it does. And I want to touch on that because you guys, I hope you're really understanding what Mike's saying here. When you're doing marketing with video, it's not about, hey, let me be the coolest person in the world and let me be somebody I'm not. You know, it's really about, I got to just be myself. 
and the people that are naturally going to be attracted to you are the right people for your business. Because here's the reality, you want to get people into your funnel that are going to want to do business with you long term. And if they're not naturally attracted to you, if you've got the wrong people in your funnel, guess what? When it comes time to do business with them, they're not going to feel comfortable doing business with you. So yeah. you know, it really is a great way to show them, kind of give them a backstage pass as to who you really are. And we'll go, let's start going through some of those different um, examples. So I want to go over the overall video strategy first and just understand that if you're going to do videos, this is more of a long-term strategy. This is playing the long game. Um, and it's not something that you're, you're going to see instant gratification on. I can tell you that right up front. I mean, you could in some cases, but I wouldn't count on it. Now, here's why video is such a better tool to communicate and connect. And all of, and this is a breakdown of communication and how it's perceived. So if you look at it from a marketing perspective or an advertising perspective, my entire, uh, your entire goal should be to express or communicate with somebody else, right? So what a lot of people don't realize is that 60% of the way communication is perceived by whoever you're putting your message out to is based upon your tone. So when you're doing video, you have the ability to speak very loud or you can speak very soft and you can talk and you can be this, and you can tell a lot about, um, the message you're trying to portray based upon your tone. Now, 30% of communication is based on your body language. So in video, I could go like this, right, Mike? I could go like, doo, 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 doo. I could do all this. I could see how pumped up I am. And a video allows you to do all that. It allows you to capitalize on your tone. It allows you to capitalize on your body language. Because what you, to add to your point, what you just said, only 10% of communication is actually what you say. All right, so just looking at these numbers, you know, um, everyone, a lot of realtors who start doing video tend to overthink it. And it's not, um, the goal here is, I, I love using this line, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Okay? And that's why video is so powerful. And a lot of times, a lot of agents just can overthink the whole concept of video. But the goal of video is just to connect. So like you just said, Michael, is you've got to be yourself. The goal of video marketing should be to form a foundation to build a relationship with warm and or cold prospects. Oh my God, that's why it's such a better tool. Go ahead, Mike. Let me jump in on that for just a second. One of the things you guys will notice is that Mike mixes it up. Sometimes when Mike's doing video, like right now, Mike is sitting down. You'll notice I'm standing up. Naturally, that affects the energy level. So Mike's energy level is very mellow right now. He's very you know, straightforward, very pragmatic, very, you know, this is, this is the step by step. Me, I'm standing up, I'm moving around, I've got a higher energy level. Uh, and so you need to understand at different times you may need to be sitting or you may need to be standing. And again, like Mike said, you know, 30% of your communication is based on your body language. That's going to have an impact on what, how your message is received. As well as, like you said, the tone, right? Like I usually yeah. tell I talk to when you're right. doing video. Honestly, what's more important in the video is the tone and the body language that you're portraying than the actual content of what you're saying. And the reason right. why I share that is because video is so powerful; it leaves such a lasting impression that people don't aren't going to remember what you talk about. So if you're just doing a talking head video about, like, you know, this is the values in this area, people aren't going to remember what one, two, three, Cherry Lane. Um, sold for. What they're going to remember is the fact that you are on video, whether your energy was good or not, and the way that your overall tone and the way you portrayed your message. That's that's a true thing. A, a good example of this is, Michael, do you remember the Micro Machines guy? I do. Yes. So what did that guy do when he came out? And that's why that marketing campaign was so effective. So for our for our youngsters and our, our non-old uh, <laughs> non people on this um, webinar today, uh, back in the day, I used to have a guy called Micro Machines, or he's a Micro Machines spokesperson. And you go ahead and you explain it probably better than I will, Michael. But no, I don't. Um, I don't remember. I remember the Micro Machines, but I don't remember the, the videos as well as you. Do. Uh, so the, <laughs> well, obviously you didn't play with them. Um, no, but the Micro Machine guy used to come out screaming, screaming. He'd be like, "God, oh, you gotta get these Micro Machines!" Blah, blah, blah. And then that was the whole part of their video campaign was his body language and tone. No one ever knew what he was saying, and it was very effective. So just something to think about, all right? It's not what you say, it's how you say it. So if your first um, if your first thing that's blocking you from getting into video is that you don't know uh, what to say or what to film video on, you're overthinking it because it's not what you say, it's going to be how you say it. That's what's going to create 
Um, hey, Mike, real quick, one of the things that you did recently, you did a video on those condos in Chicago, and you were standing up, you were outside the condos, your your body language was great, you were, you were engaged, you were leaning forward toward the camera, you were excited, you were talking about, hey, man, look at this guy. You know, it was it was very engaging, and that's, you guys, it, it, I cannot say this enough, and Mike is just really hammering this point, and so am I, because you have to portray high energy, you've got to have body language that's engaging, uh, and what you cannot be is you just can't sit back and just be ho hum and hope that people are going to enjoy whatever it is because you've got great content. Nobody cares yeah. if you've got great content unless you are exciting to listen to. Yeah, it, it's absolute truth. So the only thing with video is that it makes you an authority. I mean, when you're on video, people are going to perceive you as an expert, and people want to do business with experts. So think about you know if I start doing a bunch of videos about um, you know fried chicken and grilling people would automatically assume that I'm some kind of grill master, but it's only because I'm on video. It's weird on how that happens because our minds tell us that when we see somebody on video that they're subliminally some kind of expert. All right. Do you agree with that, Michael? Oh, absolutely. And it doesn't matter yeah. what the topic is. You're right about the it grilling. Doesn't. No. Yeah. So start slowly and create your library over time. And right now video is what is going to allow you to stand apart from your competitors. I mean, I know right now in my market that nobody's doing videos the way that I am, and we're going to ride that wave because I, I like to differentiate um, any and all marketing from any one of my competitors always because, uh, you know, real estate is a, is a industry where you got to stand out, right? And standing out in using videos is one of those ways. I mean, I cannot tell you how many times clients come up to me, oh, I love your videos. Oh, I love your videos. Now I know my marketing's working because they're remembering those videos. They don't remember what I say in them. They're just remembering the fact that they see me on Facebook in some video and they're watching them. So, you know, Mike, one, of the things that one of the comments I get a lot is, you know, our sales cycle is pretty long when it comes to selling, you know, to, to having people sign up for coaching. It takes us, you know, six to 12 months sometimes of, of engagement and they'll go in and they'll go on our website and they'll watch video after video after video and we can see this in our system and we can see that they've watched all these videos and I'll get a comment from them on a strategy session. They'll say something like, you know, I've been watching your videos for a while now. And I gotta tell you, I just I felt like I really connected with who you are. I really I really like who you are and what you represent, and I just feel good about you know kind of where you're going and about doing business with you. Yeah. And that happens over a long period of time, and it doesn't mean I've had conversations with them, but they feel like I've had that conversation with them already. Yeah, no, it's exactly right because that's you're exactly right. That's what happens. So if I'm running a Facebook ad uh, with a video, when people call me, I'll give you a perfect example. So last uh, two days ago, I was. Uh, um, I got a lead from my website, all right? And I actually had to call the lead because I was grilling in the backyard and I ran out of propane. So I checked my email while I'm driving in the car. Not that I recommend doing that, but um, <laughs> so I, I call I call the lead back up. And when people call me, my brand in Chicago is Chicago Real Estate Dude, and I have videos all over my website. When I call the conversion back, everyone I call off my website is already has a connection with me. So when I, it's very easy conversion from the way back. So I just say, hi, this is the dude, and people just start laughing. It's the best way to break ice, but it's only they feel comfortable with me because of the connection I made on my video. Yeah, so using video is like warming somebody up um, yeah. to a conversation because, yes, you're exactly right. They're able to see if they could picture themselves doing business with you, and just like anybody else, like you know um, just from seeing a video on someone right off the bat whether you like them or not, and at the end of the day, people are either going to want to work with you or not, and um, it's just how it is. So cold marketing goals. So when I say cold marketing, this is video marketing for people you don't know because there's two ways to use video. One's for a warm marketing to like your database and one's for cold marketing. We're going to go through both. But cold marketing, your goal should be just to break the ice with a cold audience and hear what you have to say, all right? Because it really does allow you to humanize your brand and connect with whoever's viewing your video and ultimately um, stand out. Now, the key of the video is to create some sort of value because until you give, you'll never get. And that's the whole goal of uh, marketing the video on the first uh, hit. Say you're running a Facebook ad per se. Uh, I might do a video on a Facebook ad that says uh, how to sell your house without an agent. All right, that's a good value I can show people up front that'll help humanize uh, my brand, and I can also stand out and create value by doing so. Now, for warm marketing goals, the video um, that you'll use, you could just multi-purpose your videos. So I will create a video and I will do one for cold marketing efforts and I'll run Facebook ads with that video. But then I'll also do a video and market it to my database because it's the ultimate way to stay on top of mind with them. 
And the reason why I'm, I'm so I'm huge on marketing your database because most agents confuse the fact and write this down because the most important part of marketing your database is not to get their direct business. You market their database to receive their referrals first and foremost. And as a byproduct of marketing your database, you will get their direct business when they are ready. And video just allows you to stay on top of mind by uh, creating value with content. Um, it allows you to really nurture your relationship. I mean, I cannot tell you how many of our clients come back like, oh yeah, I've been watching your videos. So videos, I'm using videos as a drip more or less because it's the way that I could stay in front of my database, create more referrals and not be forgotten because it's the most powerful medium for that. So one thing I want you to also remember that it's always going to be more profitable to market your database than anything else. All right. Um, that's, it's just a fact. It's across the board and every single business markets their email list. They market their subscriber list, whether it's Best Buy, whether it's um, Buy Buy Baby, whether it's whatever business it is, a local restaurant markets their past customers. It's the same thing in real estate because referrals and repeat business, which represents roughly 61 to 69% of all agent source business, comes from the people they know, not complete strangers. So just something to think about when you're looking at a video. And does that make sense so far, Michael? You're absolutely right about that. And you've got to, again, you guys, it's about establishing relationships. Relationships lead to transactions, but if you're focused transactionally and never work on the relationships, guess what? You've got a very short-term business, and you're going to be relegated to prospecting for expireds and FISMOs all day, every day. That's the only way you're going to be able to get business. And remember, yep. we want to move from chasing business to attracting business. That's really what Mike's talking about here. As you do this and you develop that relationship, you begin to attract business to you instead of you having to chase business all the time. Absolutely. That, that's, that's what we're all about is attracting business. So the next question is like, what's the ROI? And honestly, I, I'd be lying to t if I sat up here and told you that, okay, you're going to get a direct ROI from doing this and doing that because video marketing is very similar to direct mail farming. Right? It's something that you're going to do over time, but you're not going to be able to quantify immediately. You know, it's very hard to track um, what business comes directly from the videos you're creating. Now, the reason why I know that it works very well is because every single client I have mentions my videos <laughs> somehow, some way or form. They're like, oh, that video you shot was pretty cool. So I know that it's working, but I'd be lying if I told you that we could. Uh, quantify the actual ROI per video made. It's more of a long-term strategy. So, so let me, share, I want to share something with you on that, guys. So what Mike is saying is, is absolutely true. Video is like kind of radio and TV and mass media marketing in a lot of ways in that it in and of itself doesn't necessarily direct, you know, contribute toward a direct ROI, but what it does is it makes everything else you do in your business more effective. So if yeah. you're getting an ROI of, let's say, four and a half, on a particular type of marketing you're doing, when you start doing video and you tie video into it, you might take that four and a half ROI to a five and a half ROI, and so now it's exponentially benefiting every area of your business. Uh, so you know, don't just don't just think, oh my gosh, I, I did this video and I didn't get business right away, so it's not working, so I'm not going to do it. It's not that type of deal. Yeah, that's that, and that's number one. You know, you, you got to commit to a longer term uh, video marketing strategy. And uh, I want you to think of the long term, not short, because each video that you create will long live on your YouTube channel and your website and wherever else you place it. And that's the cool thing about videos that it'll always keep working for you because of the subject matter that you'll be filming content on. It's not like a one hit type wonder um, type of marketing piece. Mm -hmm. um, and you want to look at YouTube as a search engine. You know, the only thing YouTube should be viewed as is a way to drive more traffic back to your website. And that's exactly how I look at it. Um, your website, uh, you, you know, if, if you're going to market your business online, you got to have your own website. Uh, but all your videos you're going to host on your website as well. And ultimately, it just leads a much longer lasting impression um, for more referrals. And definitely that adds to the contribution of repeat business and repeat clients. Actually, I saw a uh, stat today that's pretty crazy. Um, it was on a bomb bomb ad on Facebook, actually. And they said that um, only 12% of clients actually return to their previous real estate agent. So, wow. you know, and repeat business. So that's crazy. And that, that they said 85% of clients were generally satisfied with their, their um, with their agent, but only 12% of them use the same agent again. All right. Now the question is, is why is that? 
right? We don't really necessarily know. There's no way to quantify and put a direct um, finger on it, but it's more likely because that the relationship stopped being nourished post transaction, and that or they just forgot about you and you just stayed in touch. You, you just lost touch. So video really allows you to nurture those relationships, and that's why I bring that point up with the repeat business. So, and by the way, I want to say something on that. So you guys. Video is not a replacement for everything else you do in your business, right? It doesn't really? It doesn't take away the need to pick up your phone and call your past clients once in a while. It doesn't take away the need to do a client events once in a while. It doesn't take away the need to write a handwritten personal note once in a while. But what it does is it makes every single one of those things more impactful and more beneficial to your business. And now you, instead of being part of that, uh, you know, that, that, what is it? You know, eighty-eight percent of the people that don't get that repeat and referral business because they lose contact. This keeps you top of mind. It keeps you top of consciousness. And then when you call up, and instead of asking, "Hey, who do you know that's thinking about buying or selling a home?" Instead of saying something like that, you're inviting them to a client event, and you have a video from your last client event. Dude, let me tell you, all of this leads towards you getting a ton more repeat and referral business. You've got to be doing it. Ultimately, video is great for us. It's the ultimate brand builder. At the end of the day. Um, I, there, there's no doubt about that in my mind because, yes, you're exactly right. It amplifies everything else that you're doing. Um, and one of the things I've noticed personally on this video is that it, it really nurtures the relationships for me. I don't have to, like, reach out to my contacts as much because they already feel like I'm talking to them just by doing a video. So it's very, very cool how that works. I love it for uh, referral marketing. So let's get into some meat and potatoes. Let's talk about the um, – I'm going to show you all the different strategies that I use video for. And uh, let's start with YouTube, all right? This is the biggest tip I'll, I'll give you guys, is um, don't create videos that you think people want to view. Create videos that people search for, okay? So I want you to reverse engineer what um, your content creation is. All right? And what I mean by that is that I want to think about how many how-to videos are. I want to think about what people type when they go into YouTube. And I want to create content based upon what they're searching for, right? And you can look up the different types of keywords that are being searched so that you reach more people off the content you create. And I only share this because I learned the hard way. I created videos um, that I've done. Honestly, just on my Vimeo, I have 807 videos. I've probably done well over 1,000 videos in the last seven, eight years. But um, the first six of those... <laughs> I never like optimized them by doing what's known as keyword research. And since I did do that, the results have been night and day. Okay. So let me explain what I mean by this. Keyword research is, is a tool you could go to, and there's a lot of other uh, tools and gadgets out there that you can um, view. But keyword research is uh, basically a tool, free tool from Google that you can um, use and type in to see what people are searching for. And based upon what people are searching for, then you would reverse engineer the content that you create for that. Did I, did I say that clearly enough? Yes. So if I find that people are looking for Chicago closing costs, I'm going to do a video on Chicago closing costs. And that's going to be my keywords that I'm going to optimize my video around so that it ranks. So let me show you some examples. So what, what actually before, as you're doing that, one of the things I want you guys to think about when he talks about optimizing and keyword targeting, one of the things you need to do is you need to embed those keywords. So if he's doing Chicago closing costs, he needs to have those words, not only in the video, but he also needs to have them in the text and the description that goes along with yeah. that video. I'll show you that right now. So like here's a, this is a, uh, this is probably like a year old example, give or take, but um, I still have this video up and you notice that this is just a talking head video. So it's sort of boring. But seven steps to selling and buying a house at the same time. What I wanted was selling and buying a house at the same time because I know that's a, a thing that people um, search for. Now, it's also, to me, I don't really ever care about the amount of views that I have either. I'd much rather uh, create content around a very, you know, seldomly searched keyword so that I could resonate directly with the 10 people a month that, you know, type that in and really want to find the answer for that because you have a better chance of conversion on that. It's not about casting the widest net and seeing how many views you could get that's just generalized. I want to focus in on the niches, uh, very similar to how you know you would look at blogging if you understand blogging. But look at the keywords right here, selling and buying a house at the same time. Now in the description, in the text of that video, you'll see all I did was copy selling and buying a house at the same time. One, 
two, three, four. All right, and there's more down there, but I sprinkle the keywords that I want to rank for throughout the actual um, text and in the title. And there's a couple other tricks you can do so that when someone goes to YouTube and they type um, how to buy and sell house at the same time, that I will rank for that. All right. So literally, um, a couple days after I did this as an example, I was doing another another presentation, but um, this is the email I got, so I want to show you guys that yes, this stuff works. Um, so here, some lady called me, some girl called me, and uh, she had a house that she wanted to buy and sell. And I answered her question directly in the content. How did she find me? She typed into uh, YouTube how to, how, how to buy and sell a house at the same time, and then my video ranked. That's how she found me. Okay, So that turned into a lead. She told me her life story. Uh, yeah, and here's a, this just shows you the example right here. If you look at the bottom line here, it says, I'm looking for advice from an experienced source like you, Mike, and I appreciate any tips on that. Why am I the expert? Because I'm on video. That's right. All right. So half of the sale of, you know, I don't have to sell myself. I just have to answer people's questions. And that's really what your video content strategy should be is create content around the top questions that buyers and sellers have about real estate in your local market. That's, that's what you create your videos on. All right. So, Mike, I want so, to jump in here real quick, and I want you guys to think about what Mike just said because he talked about you know not needing to have you know like on this video he's got seven thousand views on this one he just put on the screen, and that's was great. An accident. That other one he had twenty eight views on that video. Not a lot of views, right? Seems like oh, I, I, you know, some people are probably thinking, oh my gosh, well, you know, that's that's a failure of a video. No, he got a lead out of that. He ended up selling a house, actually buying, doing two transactions because of a video that only 28 people watched. So it's about that highly targeted traffic. It's much more important to have highly targeted traffic than just to have a whole bunch of at-large traffic. Yeah, absolutely. It's all in how you optimize it. And again, this is for the YouTube strategy too. Remember, we're still just talking about what my strategy is on YouTube. So there's a couple other ways we multi-purpose video we're going to go through right now, but that's the main thing right there. So let me give you another example on the flip side. So this is a this is the gift that keeps on giving. I like to call it. This is the classic example of um, of a property that just is a great lead generator. So here's our keyword here: lofts for rent in Chicago. All right. So let me tell you a story. So I actually um, I do videos on rentals. All right. Most people think I'm crazy, but it's a loss leader for me. All right. So here's what happened. Um, this we rented this condo out for like twelve hundred bucks or uh, twenty two hundred dollars I believe. Um, our keep is only half months rent, so it was twelve hundred dollars is what we actually kept. Now the video cost me three hundred bucks, and then I so I'm into it for nine hundred, and then I pay out my team, and I mean I might have made one hundred fifty dollars off this rental listing. I didn't do the video um, to rent the property. I did the video because I knew there was more lead generation behind it, and I wanted to build my library. Well, I didn't know that apparently a lot of people, this is an old slide image here. This is probably up to like 9,000 now, but a lot of people search for lofts for rent in Chicago, right? That was a very unique keyword and people wanted to see what a timber loft looks like. So I still get I, maybe one to two leads a month off of this uh, keyword. And it's just because people are looking for lofts for rent in Chicago. They reach out to me because they think I'm this loft expert. So I have this video here, although it cost me $300 to make, I probably turned an ROI onto it of well over $30,000, $35,000 just from clients that have reached me um, from this. And this was the traffic generator that led to my website or, and or them calling me. So this was an accident video that uh, I created and uh, it turned out to be the best one I'd have. Does that make sense, Michael? Well, I, yeah, it does, and you're right that it is the gift that keeps on giving. You guys, that's what video does for you. And you know, we get people go back through and they watch videos. On, I've, I've got people that call me and they'll say, "Michael, we watch an you know I, every every week or every every night. Sometimes I'm watching an hour of videos on Clubwell's website on the blog. Th these things have been up." And, and I don't have to keep recording the same video over and over again to get the same impact. So it is the gift that keeps on giving. You guys have to be doing this. Um, and and you, I like what you said about not worrying about that particular video having ROI. doesn't matter that you're not going to be a rental expert. Do the video on rental because guess what happens? Renters become what? Buyers. buyers. Yeah. Buyers become what? Sellers, you got to think about this as a long-term strategy, you guys. It's not about today business; it's about my entire business. Actually, as a matter of fact, on this video, I didn't even remember um, filming this. Like, I forgot I was on my YouTube channel. And the first deal I got from this, um, it was a couple moving from the suburbs to the city, and they actually wanted to see uh, 
they wanted to rent a house first, but that they ended up buying a loft for four hundred thousand dollars, and they were looking for lofts for rent originally. They bought a loft for four hundred thousand dollars, and they actually listed their house for two hundred eighty thousand dollars. So do the math on that. And it was all just one lead that came in because they liked me on the video. I was cool. They thought I, they could approach me. They could talk to me, and uh, turn into a client. So don't. The point is, is that I look at every opportunity to film video. Um, and every listing I get, every rental listing I get, it's just content. And it's an excuse for me to film a video to create another traffic generator. So I look at everything as an investment back into my marketing. And some listings I'll take on, I don't care about the commission as much as I do as about the marketing opportunity I could create behind it. Yeah. So That's let's look at a couple different examples. So this is cool. Go ahead to Google, search Google videos, and I look at West Town Condos for sale. I got the top three spots, and this is organically. So let's say I'm going up against a listing agent in a different market. Um, and they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm the West Town super agent. I'm like, yeah, well, this, this guy got three videos that rank. All right, well, I'm not, you're not hiring a regular realtor. You're hiring a marketer here. All right, that's the big difference. When I look for page one of YouTube, and just because we do so many videos, I search all of just Chicago real estate. This is page one. This is organic. We're not paying ads. This is my partner, Luke. He ranks number one. This is me down here. I rank number four. So um, because I do the marketing for our agents, so, you know, it's good that they rank ahead of me. Uh, but that's uh, I don't care because it's all we're all on the same we're all on the same team here. But this is you know just for optimizing Chicago real estate uh, for this section. Now sell house fast. All right. So uh, this is a friend of mine actually, and it's funny because uh, people also think that you need to be here for like X amount of time to earn rankings. No, not at all. All right, and you have to have all these views to earn rankings. I'm optimized. How to sell a house fast? I only have 625 year views. It's one year ago. Okay, Johnny Cocker is a friend of mine. He has two years ago, 196,000 views, 35,000 views, 11,000 views, 98,000 views. I'm ranking with 625, all right? So it's not about the views. It helps, yes, when you get the views to rank, but I'm still ranking up, up top here because I optimize under this how to sell a house fast. The best video, if you guys are going to create one, the most searched term is local, for me personally, and it probably would be the same in every other market, I'm guessing, uh, but Chicago closing costs. So your city closing costs. It performs. The blog post that I wrote on this is my highest organic visited post. Chicago closing costs are my highest, uh, and these don't get a ton of videos either, but they rank, right? So um, it's a great, great uh, uh, keyword I would optimize it for. All right. So... That's the YouTube strategy. So create content people look for, optimize it so that it pops up on search and you have a better chance to get in front of people who are trying to answer the question that they want answered. That's why they're typing it into the search bar. So let's go over on the whole referral marketing strategy because that would be just YouTube marketing strategy. So the whole referral marketing strategy is simple. It's all about not being forgotten because the biggest problem I have, I hear realtors um, ask me at least, or I, I see like, this is that, I don't know what the senders. I don't know what the sender uh, do to keep in touch with my database. That's why video is so awesome because um, with video you could just create stupid, fun, interesting content, and you never have to talk about real estate. It allows you to sell your business without ever having to sell it because with video you can use the power of story. All right, um, video is also entertaining. I'm going to show you guys several different examples of that, but. Um, I have fun with the videos because all I want to do is humanize my brand. That's my goal. Keep in front of my database and humanize my brand. So I'm never professional. I'm explosive in being personal. All right. The video um, marketing whole strategy is going to be don't be the most professional. Try to be the most personable because the most personable will always win. And video gives you the power of authenticity like no other channel that is out there. And that's why it works. All right. So what can I do with uh, my videos once I create them to my database? Well, I use BombBomb and uh, I send my videos out to my database. So you can see right here, I just took a snapshot. Um, I use a video for, hey, is Old Town the best neighborhood in Chicago? That was a neighborhood video I sent to my database. This was a Father's Day video I sent to my database. Happy Father's Day. This right here was a answer to a lead I got on my website. I shot him back a video. I try to respond and do everything I possibly can in video. Video also allows me to uh, post on social media, which is another cool database referral marketing um, type of trick. Now I could post this in social media and you'll see some of the engagement on here. People are sharing it. 
Uh, the sellers always share it, so it goes out to all their friends, so they know that you know it's sort of like a free advertisement. But if you look here, is I want you to look at the content that I wrote um, in video, and you'll see it's very social. All right. So if you look up here, it says, "Who said you couldn't buy anything in Old Town for around three hundred thousand? And it's a two bedroom. What? That's sort of my brand. I'm just I'm trying to be personable. And the the less what I have found personally works better for me is the less real statey, salesy, professional I am. When I and the more natural I am with my uh, videos and whatnot, it gets more engagement because it's oh. I'm not trying to sell anything here. I'm just adapting my marketing platform to social media. Uh, in this case, this is Facebook, appropriately for how people want to view content on Facebook. Um, does that make sense, Mike? It does. And you know, here's one of the things I want you guys to think about. First of all, we, you know, we talk about, it's, it, for those of you that have been to one of our listing champion events, and we talk about how to write a Facebook ad, we talk about attention, interest, decision, and action. I want you to look at what Mike did in these, in these ads. Look right there where it says, who said you couldn't buy anything in Old Town? And then on the next one to the right there, it says, who said a walk, uh, a walk up condos don't exist in the South, blah, blah, blah. So my, what he's done here is he's grabbing their attention and he's challenging their beliefs. He's challenging what, what the status quo is. And by doing that, he creates that interest. And it's really important because if they're not interested, they're not going to click on it. If, and, and you've got to lead them through that process. First, you got to grab their attention. So they see a video. It looks kind of cool. They recognize, oh, hey, that's Mike Cuevas. He's standing on the street out there in front of uh, you know downtown Chicago. And then he says, who said this doesn't exist? Let me prove them wrong. I'm going to show you how. And all of a sudden, you click on it, and it's very, very engaging. That yeah. is great content. And both of these listings are overpriced. I'm probably not going to sell them, but I don't care because I just want the videos to leverage my current listings for spinoff business. So that's I just, right. you know, and I do, I mean, that same post I actually just boosted on Facebook because I, it worked well. So I kept the content, I kept the, t the text of it, and I just boosted it on Facebook. It's growing right now for people who are likely to move in the areas that I work that own properties. So um, again, it's, it's about, you know, you're using video and you're multi-purposing it across several different fronts for spin-off business and marketing. Um, ultimately, you're going to host every video on your website. It's going to long live there. Right? If you guys go to my website, chicagorealestatedude.com, you'll see a video on every single page because my whole goal there is uh, to humanize my brand. As a matter of fact, I don't even have IDX on my website. I'm probably the only agent I know that does not have IDX on my website. That I is believe great. It. I don't, I, I don't, I don't, why am I going to compete with Zillow and Truly? And so my whole concept of my website is, is, uh, I want to answer all your real estate related questions. I call it the encyclopedia of Chicago real estate. So, uh, I don't go after IDX. I don't want to compete off Zillow and Truly. I don't believe in it. I'm never going to beat them. So what I can beat them in is, is creating a, a, a boatload of awesome, awesome content that, um, they don't have in my entire Website is done in storybook format. You'll notice that everything in there is a story, so it resonates accompanied with the video. Okay, so I got to jump on that, Mike. One of the things that's very special about what you're doing there is that it's hyper local, and that's why yes. you can do the low. You know, because what you're doing is you're getting very hyper local. You're going into a neighborhood. You're talking about, hey, let me tell you about this neighborhood. Let me tell you what's cool about this park, whatever. And that hyper local content is what people are after. And by the way, the search engines in their algorithms. They 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 rank those play those sites higher that have hyper local content. It's so easy to rank for high, hyper local content because there's not there's not going to be like thousands and thousands of people searching for it. But it's like what I said at the beginning. You want to laser focus in on your optimization and reach a smaller number of people that are very much looking for what you that exact question they're trying to get answered on uh, online. That's the best way to look at it. Yep. Um, so there's where we multi-purpose um, the websites, but let's go through the different, the five types of videos to create. And after I show you guys this, um, there is no shortage at all for a uh, list for a video strategy in real estate. Like I have too many videos I can film. I don't have any um, problem finding content to film. My goal is just to keep enough of it to create consistency. So like I, I view my marketing or my video um, aspect is sort of like a little TV show. You know, I view it as a media company essentially because I'm just always looking to create more and more content to splash out there to my list and wherever else I possibly can. So let's look at an example of uh, an about video and I'll probably, Mike, I don't know if you could hear this. 
can't hear it. I can see it. Okay. All right, so yeah, I, I thought you wouldn't be able to hear it, but Check it um, out. That's this, is my, <laughs> this is my about <laughs> video. I'll just let it play in the background when we sort of talk. Um, but this is my about video, and uh, I'm telling a story. This is for the real estate marketing dude, and we have fun. We act. Now, your about video is your bio. This is basically, this is who I am, and your goal there is to just, it's, it's you put it everywhere. It goes on your YouTube page. It goes on your Facebook page. It goes on your LinkedIn page. It goes on your Zillow account. It goes on your tr all, any place you could possibly put your bio video on. That's where you want to put it at. And it should be entertaining. It should be fun. It should it should speak to your per your personality. It should shine out. Uh, but you'll see how I use my editor does a really good job because um, he's very animated, and that's how I want all my videos to be. I want them to be fun. I want them to be entertaining because that's what uh, has a much longer lasting effect. Now, this is a video that you only have to shoot once, okay? But you need to have one, and you need to have a, a bio video. You can put it on the about page of your website as well, um, pretty much anywhere else you could possibly think about it. So that's one video you could film, but you only have to do it once, so we need an ongoing content strategy. So next one, next one is a uh, listing videos. I use listing videos for every possible opportunity we can have. I do not care about the sales price. The biggest mistake I see all the time is, oh, that house is only $100,000, I'm not gonna do a video. Or, oh, that house is only $300,000, I'm not gonna do a video. Video says a lot about your brand, all right? And if you're doing video, do you think a seller thinks you might be a better marketer than someone who's not? What do you think, Mike? Oh, absolutely. I mean, if you're not, if, put it this way. If you're not doing video today, everybody's going to think you suck at marketing. Yeah, absolutely. And look how ugly this house is, too. I didn't care. It showed horribly. It's rented out. But I'm only doing the video for the marketing aspect of it, for spinoff business, to keep my name out there. But, I, you know, it's part of my brand. We, we give everybody listing videos. So, Mike, what is the average number of listings an agent has per year? Oh my gosh, per year or at any given time, I'd say a typical agent's going to have four listings at any given time. But the reality is we've got a lot of agents in Club Wealth and I'm seeing a lot of them on the call here today or on the webinar today that have literally 20, 30, 40 listings. In fact, we've got two people on the call that have over 70 listings right now. So, so here's here's the here's the point is that when someone says, I don't, I don't have enough content to create a, a, a listing or a video strategy, your listing, if you have 40 listings a year, that means there's 40 videos. Space that out over the you know course of the video strategy already. Now, if you only get 6 to 12 listings a year, then at least you know you have 6 to 12 videos, right? The goal of the video is not the video itself. It is the actual remembrance and you building a library and you standing out there because regardless of uh, what your video is, you can always optimize it to for hyper-local search like you said. So listing videos, do one for every listing. I, I highly, highly recommend it. It'll do a lot for your brand and it'll definitely will make the seller love you a lot more. So Mike, I got a couple of questions. Can I throw a couple of questions at you from people real quick? Do you want to wait till the end or you want to go up and do them right now? We're almost Just done right now. Let's do it at the very end um, just because Go we'll, uh, we'll do it at the very end just because we're, I'm wrapping up right now. Sounds um, good. Sounds good. Now, the second, uh, third type of video that you can create are content videos, right? So what I do right now in my market is I have a subscription service with a local video guy. You know, I pay him X amount of money for four videos a month so that we could create one video a week. And I accompany our content videos. We also write a blog post because we multi-purpose it. So we do uh, you know, content video, then we, we also write a blog post, and we optimize both of those. Now, the, what I want to show you on the content videos, though, is that in 2009, talking head videos were cool. In today's market, you need some more entertaining uh, functionality to it. So my advice is if you're going to do a content type of video, and uh, this video is actually the contents about um, the three ways to position your house for sale. So you'll notice, though, is that regardless of what I'm saying, it's more engaging. Because let's look at it. I'm using the body language. Look at the tone direct into the confidence. And you'll notice a lot of stuff going on in the background. So even though we can't hear the sound here, what did I tell you earlier? The 10%, the content that I'm actually saying is irrelevant, right? Look how I'm saying it. That's why this video resonates. Does that make sense, Michael? It does. And, and it's funny because 
I so I'm watching this video and I'm like, dude, I don't know what he's really talking about, but I know I want to hear more about it. And it's funny because we had one of the questions we had earlier was, hey, uh, Chris, uh, Chris and Kalski had asked, you know, hey, what is that video saying? It looks funny. You know, I mean, yeah. that's the thing about body language. You know, it looks like a funny video. It looks like an interesting video, so you want to engage with it. And by the way, this is really important on Facebook, especially. Yeah, I was just going to bring that up. Oh, hit it. Do it. Go for it. That's on Facebook. 80% of the videos watched right now do not have sound attached to it. That's why talking head videos aren't going to perform as well as something that's more entertaining. And think about it. When people are, I mean, I watch a ton of video on Facebook now. I, I don't even read just text <laughs> news feeds, and that's going to continue. As a matter of fact, they have a, a stat from the last conference I was just at. And, uh, came from a very uh, well-respected um, guy there. Seventy-nine percent of all online traffic will be a result of video um, and by 2018. So, if you notice on your feeds and Facebook, you know how everyone always is using text in their videos, and the reason for that is because 80 percent of people don't have the sound turned on. So, when I my goal on Facebook video is to sell the click. The video is just there to get them to click to my website so that I can retarget them later if they don't take action the first time. All right? Video grabs the attention a lot quicker, and I, I just love it because none of my competitors are, are doing it either. Even if they were, they wouldn't have the, uh, they would probably be like a talking head um, type of video. So our team does one video a week, four a week, 48 a year. All right, and they don't do it all every every month. That's what I want them to do. But let's just say I got 30 videos a year of content that I'm optimizing and marketing. You can now see how I can adapt a you know farming type strategy using video on Facebook, and you can really combine social media video to uh, do some damage. This one is just a neighborhood video. So when people say I have no content to film, go shoot a neighborhood video. All right. The reason why I love neighborhood videos is because I optimize them local. Um, I uh, they really connect with people and they're fun. This is uh, basically like a bar crawl video that we do on a bar crawl. We just film around the neighborhood and we have fun. It's great team building. Um, <laughs> people like watching them, but it's very entertaining and that's really all it's supposed to be. All right, so um, you can do neighborhood videos and space them out. Do one a month until you get all your neighborhoods done and then they'll just live on your website. They'll live on your YouTube channel forever. All right. It's actually Transformers, the movie. It's where the movie was shot. So that's what we talked about in the video. The last type of video you can create are holiday videos. People are like, what? This is a St. Patty's Day. Um, this is a St. Patty's Day video. And what Jerry says right there, he goes, today is the day. Today is the day that we will drink a lot of beer. And this is a real estate team doing beer uh, videos. The very end of this video... Our call to action is get this one right here. Let me show you the end. Drink smart, choose your agent smarter. Okay, so everything that we do, we want to just uh, tie in some sort of personalization, a lot of humanization. And I could send this holiday videos to my database. I could send holiday videos. I, I boost these and I, I uh, do ads on them. Um, it's just I, w I wish we could do more um, than we do. But um, they're very effective, right? And again, humanization of your brand. So if you take those types, those five videos that I just showed you, there's no shortage of video content to create, all right? Uh, Michael, did that make sense? Or do we have any questions on that section? And then uh, I'm going to go through the distribution list, and then we'll wrap up and take Q&A. We do, yes, and we do have questions on that section. So let's jump into a couple of those. First of all, let's review those five, uh, those five types of videos. We got the bio video, we've got the listing videos, content videos, neighborhood videos, and then holiday videos. Now, I would add to that for those of you that are doing client events, you need to be doing videos for your client events as well. It's very important, and I'm talking about not only videos to tell them about your client events, but videos at the client event that you then promote after the client event and you use every, like, if I'm doing a Photos with Santa event once a year, I want to use my my video from last year's event to promote this year's event. Very important yeah. stuff. Um, so yeah. a couple of questions we had from people, uh, and by the way, keep typing your questions in there, folks. We're going to get to those quickly. Again, first and foremost, uh, I need to say Jeff Russell, no. Uh, contrary to what Mike would probably like to see, this is not a pitcher full of vodka. This is, in fact, just water. 
<laughs> so there you go. Uh, <laughs> yeah. If Bjorkman and Cuevas were doing a webinar together, that may, it may be a different story. But today it's just water. Uh, so, like 10 p.m. What's that? We'd be at 10 p.m. with beers. <laughs> I know, seriously. Um, okay, so we had, uh, what's the average cost of these videos? Gabby Serby wants to know, what's the average cost of these videos? Very good question. Um, yeah, honestly, it depends on who your video dude is. Um, I literally have a, found a friend on Facebook that now I'm friends with, and now he's my he's the Chicago video dude. That's his business. Um, but to get him, uh, you know, I showed him, yeah, I basically helped him with this whole job and whatnot, and um, he's my video guy here, so he's who I do all my videos with. Uh, what we pay, a, a cost of video is going to vary. There's a company in Chicago that is very expensive on what they charge. So my recommendation is that you have to find someone locally. Um, go If you're in a, in a city with a college, go look at the local film students. They're always looking for a, uh, stuff to put on their, uh, what do you call it, their resume or their uh, portfolio. But find a video person in your market and just tell them what you're trying to do. The key is to find somebody with the creativity that could really make the videos stand out. That is the absolute key. And as a matter of fact, we have somebody that we know, Shane Pedley, right? Um, I was just going to bring him up. I'm glad you did. So, so it's, go ahead. Why don't you, at the end of the call here, type in Shane Pendley's um, uh, info. And he offers like a bunch of different video packages. He does a really good job. But you could find the video person. And if you can't, you know, if you don't use Shane, there's somebody in your market to, who has it. But that's, that's step one, is no doubt, is finding that video person. Uh, yeah. I paid 700 bucks for four videos a month, all right, which is very good. Um, yeah, that's cheap. That's at average, cheap. my listing videos cost $300 a listing video. All right, so that's about what I pay for it. I've seen prices range. I don't know what they are in your market, but that's that's what I'm paid for. Oh my gosh, I gotta I gotta tell you, I just gotta comment that just I I think I vomited a little bit in my, in my mouth when I when I read this comment. The first the first uh, four words in the comment are I love the dude. <laughs> <laughs> And so I'm, I'm not going to say who it was that said it, but I will say the next sentence was, what's a comparable fun term for a lady? So if, if, I'm, if I'm a lady out there and I want to have a cool, you know, chick. tagline like the real estate chick. market, dude. What's I do like a uh, Chicago real estate chick. The Chicago real estate chick. There you go. All right. Good stuff. I like that. All right, so a couple of things. First of all, Shane, in terms of video, one of the things I love about Shane is he comes out, he does a buyer video, a seller video. He does your bio video. He's got a series of videos that he'll come out. He'll literally he'll, he'll get you the five key videos that are kind of your static videos that you have to have to have to have uh, on your website. That bio is one of them. So he'll come out. He'll do those, and then he'll also um, help you kind of dial in your your, your other strategy as well. But here, but in terms of uh, the questions, let's go back. I've got um, what the talking head video. That was another question is what's a talking head video? And essentially a talking head video, we do a lot of talking head videos, right? What, when you come to the Club Wealth website uh, where it's, you know, it's it's me teaching you information and you'll see like 20 to 20 minutes to an hour of just hardcore, you know, here's this step, here's this step, here's this step. And it's really just, it's, it's really about learning and educating and knowledge versus what Mike's talking about is much more entertaining than education. Uh, and so, yeah. with an entertaining video, it's it needs to be just that. It needs to be fun. It needs to have stuff flying in and out. It needs to have you know different screenshots. You know, the screen moves from here to there. Mike, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I, it needs to be exciting. It needs to be entertaining at the end of the day. And uh, the next question that's going to come is how long should they be? Uh, two minutes or less is my advice for a content yeah. video because um, at least for my goal for a content video is to get them to click on the blog post. All right, because we double every video we shoot, we accompany it with a blog post. So I would tell you that you want two minutes or less. If you have a video of five minutes talking head about real estate, people are going to be bored. Yep. Right? They're not going to remember anything you say. Remember that 60, 30, 10 rule. Uh, again, that's just my opinion, but I use video to drive traffic um, and entertain and educate. I don't use video for any other reason. So another question is uh, Sandra uh, uh, Ronaldo is asking about the quality of the audio and do you use a special mic for your outside your your, your outdoors uh, video recordings? No, you go to uh, Amazon. This is a video. Here's my mic. It's right here. It's like fourteen bucks off Amazon, and you could do these videos right on your iPhone. iPhone quality is great. Um, or actually, later on today, I was actually supposed to film uh, how to do a green screen video with my video guy here. I'm going to put it up on our, on our website. 
But um, I, it's very simple. But the answer is that your video person should have all that figured out for you. Um, you shouldn't have to worry about that. But an iPhone and just look up a, a mic for an uh, iPhone. It's, it's really that simple. Yeah, and I agree. You know, here's the thing. Use what you got, you guys. You know, should you have some really nicely edited, you know, high-quality professional videos on some of your stuff? Absolutely. But for now, just use what you got. Don't overthink it. You know, like right now, you'll see the video that I'm using and the audio I'm using. I've got my Microsoft Surface Pro on a, on a uh, tripod, and that's I'm using that camera, and I'm using that audio. I don't have any other microphone on me. I don't have anything else but the microphone that's built into that laptop. Uh, and so, you know, use what you got. You don't have to go crazy with this. Now, Gabby, you were asking a question about a group discount with Shane uh, at Paris Inc. By the way, his website is Paris, P-A-R-U-S, Inc., I-N-C, dot com. And do we get a group <laughs> discount? The answer is yes. He is going to be at the business strategy conference in Anaheim on the 9th through the 11th. So when you're there, go up to Shane, talk to him. What he'll do is he'll fly out to an area and he'll hit a bunch of agents at the same time where he'll do all your videos at the same time. So everybody saves money by by kind of co-oping it that way. Mike, go, go ahead. Up to Shane and be like, Mike told me you're going to give you a discount. And then Shane will be like, thanks, Mike. <laughs> I told him, I said, dude, you come to our event, you got to offer a deal to these guys. So he'll do it. So. Yeah, I know yeah, he will. Um, all right, so let me finish this up. We'll come back to some other questions because I want to go through the distribution. What do you do after you create your video once it's done? Because if nobody watches your video, this does not happen. So very first thing, and this is just a, qu a quick uh, recap. If I were to give you an order on you know, our process overall when we actually create a video, first thing is find the video to create. All right, I, I reverse engineer it. So I will create videos based upon what people are searching for. Um, so I find a topic. Uh, once I know that topic, I will then optimize that video once it's done, optimize it on uh, YouTube so that it can rank, uh, the same way I just showed you earlier. Then I take it to social media and I share it on all of, where's my social media image? Oh, it's gone, so sad. There was supposed to be a social media image here, but um, I share it on all the platforms. I'm gonna post it on LinkedIn. I'm gonna post it on uh, Facebook. I'm gonna post it on to my email list. I'm gonna post it on my website. I'm gonna post it, it's obviously in YouTube. So I'm gonna post it anywhere that my social platforms exist because it's just a reiteration that, hey, I'm in real estate, don't forget about me. Um, I also put it on my website. And then last but not least is my email list. So very, very simple. One video, YouTube, website, email list, social media, period. That's it. Let it live. Yeah. Um, Stuff. We're going to be talking oh, about a lot of this at like the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, something happened with my slides here. Someone got someone got erased. But we're going to be talking about a lot of this stuff at the uh, Business Strategy Mastermind. I'd be glad to talk with anyone more in advance because the truth is that one video um, strategy is going to be different from person to person. But you have to decide what is right for you. So my brand is very laid back. Um, I'm a dude, so I have to shoot and act like a dude. That, that's just how I act anyways, but you might be like super professional, and that's fine, but your videos would be created in accordance to what your brand is because when you're true to yourself and you just be yourself on video, that's when it's most effective. So it doesn't have to be the best video. It just has to be the most real video. Don't be fake. Be, be you. No one can be better you than you, and your brand is going to resonate with some someone out there and that's the whole goal um, I know dudes aren't gonna probably resonate with the luxury market but I'm honest to myself and who my brand is I'm not really a luxury agent I get some high price deals here and there but I wouldn't call myself a luxury agent right um, but that's just who I am so adapt video your strategy your tone your message to your brand is what I just want to say yeah that's good stuff I love it. So, all right. So, Mike's going to be at the Business Strategy Mastermind Conference November 9th through 11th. He's going to be sharing a lot of great information with us. Come ready to take lots of notes. We have time for just one, maybe two more questions. In fact, we really only have time for one question. So, type your question in right now. Those of you that uh, want to ask a question, let's get that done. I know we've gone through several of your questions right now. I'm reading through here, seeing which one we're going to hit. Uh, as our final question. Um, I will say this, you guys. Here's the most important thing that, that I think that Mike mentioned today. Number one is just do it. Don't overthink it. you got to just do it. 
Number two is you got to do it consistently over a long period of time. Number three is remember those five videos, those five video categories that you could be doing. And I see this question is coming up. Several people are asking for that again. Here it is. The bio video, the listing videos, the content video, the neighborhood videos, and the holiday videos. So you guys, I appreciate you being on today. Thank you very, very much for taking the time. Mike, any parting thoughts before we wrap up today? No, um, just get on it. I mean, all the stats are showing videos the way it's going to go. All marketing is going to be videos. You're going to see this. And um, it's sort of like one of those things, you know, the earlier you get in and get used to doing things, um, the easier it becomes in the long term. And because there are not a lot of your competition um, watching or doing videos uh, in this sort of way, I think there's a huge opportunity for you to really build a brand literally just based off videos. Our goal is uh, we're going all video. Uh, 2017. Everything we do is going to be on video. So um, I'm putting my money where my mouth is, and that's where I, I just know that's what's coming. I see that I agree. across the board. Okay. All right, man. Well, Mike, I appreciate you taking the time with us today. Hey, guys, I forgot to mention this, and I'm going to mention this real quick here, but uh, at the event, we are also going to be giving away, check this out, not only a trip to the next Business Strategy Mastermind Conference, not only are we going to be giving away a trip to our adventure mastermind, but we are also going to be giving away a trip for seven days to Hawaii. So make sure you're at the event. You have to be present at the event to win those trips. Uh, but dude, let me tell you, we're going to be giving a ton of stuff away. Cannot wait to see you guys at the Business Strategy Mastermind Conference. Mike, thank you again so much. We appreciate your time. Video is absolutely happening. For those of you that aren't involved in it, you've got to get doing it. Remember, everybody, and Mike loves to tease me about this, and I don't care, Mike. You can tease me about it all you want because even inside of you, there is truly a world-class beast just dying to get out. You guys got to know that. You got to believe that. You got to let that beast be unleashed upon the world. And remember, you are world-class.